As disciples, we are called to obey God in every circumstance, even when following his instructions is uncomfortable for us. How can we prepare ourselves for a life of sacrifice and God's provision in the kingdom of God? Our daily Bible readings teach us that it is worth it to obey God, even when we don't know what lies ahead, and even when we risk having to suffer and sacrifice. In Deuteronomy 8, Moses teaches us the blessings of challenges and the provision, as he recalls how God brought his people through vast and dreadful wildernesses and thirsty and waterless lands. In Matthew 4, Jesus teaches us obedience through depending on God's word to dismantle the traps of the devil and shows us that God will take care of us when obedience is costly. Luke 22 agrees, showing that just as an angel strengthened Jesus in his anguish, God supports us in our good fight of faith. Psalm 20 is a prayer for help in time of crisis that assures us that God protects, sends help, supports, and remembers our sacrifices. Hebrews 11 shows us that our obedience affects more than the current moment as it can bless generations to come. As we come to Genesis 22, we can appreciate that Abraham and Sarah were beginning to experience the fulfillment of God's covenantal promise with the birth of their son Isaac. Yet, the command to sacrifice Isaac appeared to place Abraham at a risk of losing the son of promise through whom God would give Abraham descendants. The place where Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac was Mount Moriah, the same place where Solomon would later erect the first temple. The text helps us understand general geographic details regarding where Abraham built the altar. From Beersheba, the journey took two full days. On the third day, the mountain range came into sight, which suggests that the place was a little farther north than Jerusalem. It must have been physically exhausting, but more emotionally exhausting for Abraham, as he tried to reconcile God's promise to establish an everlasting covenant with Isaac, with the request to offer up Isaac as a sacrifice. This brings us to our key Bible verse for today, which reads, And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. Genesis chapter 22, verse 8. Abraham's response to God's call was, Here I am, a familiar response to God that matches other places of Scripture. By this response, Abraham not only answered God, but also voiced his availability and willingness to do as instructed. Abraham immediately responds in obedience, unlike previous rebuttals to God, suggesting Eliezer or Ishmael as substitutes through which the promise was fulfilled. Abraham obeys, even though this request was extremely costly to him. Abraham's response to Isaac's question, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering, implies much about Abraham's faith, God's ultimate plan for salvation, and Abraham's convictions concerning God's person. The Hebrew word ra'ah, which is translated as will provide, generally denotes the act of seeing with one's own eyes. Essentially, Abraham was insinuating that God would see the current situation and make available what was best. Additionally, commentators view Abraham's answer as typologically important, linking the discourse to Jesus as a lamb specifically provided. Jesus would be God's provision to permanently deal with sin in the world, making it possible for mankind to be reconciled back to God. Again, the key word, provide, is used when Abraham spots the ram, and when he names the sacred site. The ram caught in the thicket became a substitute sacrifice in place of Isaac. Though Isaac is delivered, Abraham was not deterred from what he had come to do on the mountain. Together with his son, they worshipped God in that place. Here's our lesson. Abraham models an act of faith, which is obeying even when we don't know the outcome. Every day, we must count the cost associated with following God and determine for ourselves whether he is deserving of our trust and total obedience. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly desire, for who we truly seek is you.